I'm confident that we have cut at least one year of our uh, production activities by being a part of the Startup Hub. The Startup Hub is a facility uh, where the startup can stay, can work. When we got accepted into Odense Robotics Startup Hub, we came straight from university, we just finished our education. When you come from the university, you, you're really missing uh, the market perspective. You don't have a handle on the customers. We, are, we have a technical background, so we are not used to think in the business point of view. The overall purpose of the Startup Hub is to help the startup to develop a prototype which can give them proof of the business and give them the first turnover with customers. So now we've been in the hub for six months and uh, in six months we have managed to reach from ID to a functioning prototype. Being part of the Startup Hub gives us some kind of a quality stamp. We've been talking with an investor for a while and we knew if we got accepted into the Startup Hub then he would be sure that all the things that our company was missing from being a startup, all the experience that we didn't have, he was confident that we had that around us being a part of the Startup Hub. What we do is we give them services, we give them access to facilities, the Startup Hub gives you lab facilities, it gives you space, uh, which uh, costs a lot if you have to get that other way. And the test facility here is uh, outstanding. Uh, we have a concrete floor, we have all the equipments we needed. So when we entered the Startup Hub, the first thing that we did was to have a meeting uh, with counsel from uh, Uns Robotics. He helped us set up a number of milestones for the company and the idea that brought us to the Startup Hub. Figure out the business plan to make the market analysis, and competitor analysis and so on. For the Startup Hub, we're looking for companies who are within robotics in a broad sense. It could be attractive for student startups, it could be attractive for uh, companies based on research from research or patents from universities, but it could also be attractive for experienced, for instance, robot engineers who have spotted a hole in the market and created a new company. We applied twice, we got rejected the first time. We had a, a different idea, same business, but uh, the business case in the former idea wasn't as strong. The first time we applied, we got a rejection, but the people from the Startup Hub chose to work with us to improve our pitch and to improve our understanding of our business case, so that when we applied the second time around, we could answer all the questions that we couldn't answer the first time. So let alone the process of applying was something that helped us uh, to grow and improve our understanding of our business. The whole process was actually quite friendly uh, in a way. Open discussion, open questions, uh, nice people. You don't feel intimidated like in different meetings. It's rent free. They don't give us any equity to be part of the program. Our aim is solely to create commercially successful companies within robotics in the city of Odense.